In this video I'll show you how to connect the Dragon Link Long Range UHF Control Transmitter Module to the Turnigy 9X transmitter. The 9X is a great value in transmitters, not the highest quality, but it has enough features and a low enough price that makes it a great adaptation for certain hacks and modifications like the Dragon Link. The Dragon Link itself is reasonably priced, although not cheap, and it is a very solid, reliable link in your uh, control system and can fly out to 10 kilometers or more. The Dragon Link 433 MHz module runs off of 7 to 20 volts input through this red wire grounded through the brown and a PPM signal output from your radio transmitter into this module plus an antenna is all you need to operate the Dragon Link. The Turnigy 9X comes with a standard AA battery module with 8 batteries which is 12 volts but of course the Dragon Link can be run from anywhere between 7 and 20 volts so a LiPo battery aftermarket replacement for those AA batteries will work fine as well. The signal and power supply cable that comes with the Dragon Link module is this nice locking modular plug that has the familiar sequence of signal, power, and ground. Just like an ordinary servo wire which from the left is signal, power, and ground. And so while you could use these Krypton connectors, buy a modular plug, adapt that to your radio, instead I like to recommend using an ordinary male servo lead, which has the same sequence on the module side, and plug it right in. It doesn't lock, but with, without any abuse or tension, uh, it's going to stay in there just fine. The first step will be to remove the battery pack, or batteries if there are any. Next, remove the 2.4 GHz transmitter module from the 9X. You'll notice that there will be an antenna wire protruding from the module into the chassis of the transmitter. I've already cut that off and there's really no way around that so I recommend cutting that wire and then go ahead and remove the antenna by removing a screw at the base of the antenna and simply pulling it out. Working with the rear you'll see these are the five pins in question which make the contacts between the module previously the 2.4 GHz module and soon to be the Dragon Link module. I've amended the labeling of the pinouts on the back of the transmitter body to s demonstrate signal, ground, 12 volt or whatever power you use here, another ground, and the antenna. You notice this is a different sequence from the standard servo connector or the one that's supplied. All that we need to do is to swap the pins in this connector here so instead it goes signal, ground, and power. You'll see that the wire is crossed right there and this is easily done by using a small instrument like the edge of a blade placed beneath that little plastic tab and pry that up about 20 degrees and then these wires can be withdrawn then replaced in the proper order. So from the left signal, ground, and power. This matches the needed sequence of the Turnigy 9X uh, pinouts right there. So conceptually all that needs to be done is to plug that right onto those top three pins, ignoring the bottom two pins, and then the final step is to more or less permanently mount your Dragon Link on the back of the transmitter and pretty everything up. From the 2.4 GHz module remove these two screws, remove the back, and you'll see the RF transmitter module inside. There's the cut antenna wire. This you can discard or save for another project a different day. Here's where the modular plug will need to come up through that hole, this wire. So what I'd like to do is feed that up through, go ahead and seat the module so in its clipped position here, and I'm going to apply hot glue, epoxy would also work, to connect effectively this connector to the inside of this now empty module. Now I've carefully hot glued this servo module to the inside of this module. This will theoretically allow this to be removed later. If you do wish to have it removable, be careful not to glue this section to the body by way of putting too much glue in that hole. If this is to be a permanent installation, go nuts with the glue. The next step is to apply the back to the original module 
which is here and I've cut out a little section here just to permit the wire to exit the back of the module but remain flush with it so it can engage the uh, dragon link module but won't, won't impair the mounting of the actual module on the back of this cover. The back is replaced by engaging the detents at the bottom of the lid and replacing these two screws here. Depending on the means you intend to use to mount the dragon link to the back of your transmitter, consider removing this uh, protective film. I'm going to be using 3M Scotch uh, heavy duty mounting tape, a couple of strips applied right here, and stick this right on. This will theoretically still permit you to access the latches on both sides here and here to remove this module if you decide to. Now ready to mount the Dragon Link module on the back of the original 2.4 GHz. I've put some two-sided foam tape, removed the backing from that, st stow the wire in the now empty 2.4 GHz module, and then center and place this where you like it. Now the Dragon Link is cleanly mounted on the back of the Turney G9X, and if you are okay with a straight protruding antenna, all that you need to do is correctly install the antenna, turn on and fly. Now I actually like to have my antenna facing upward like this for a bit better polarization and range. So I'm going to be installing a 90 degree adapter like this on the Dragon Lake module. If you choose to do this, be sure that you use an SMA and not a reverse polarity SMA. The way I've installed this, you can plainly see that the antenna will not pass the remnant of the 2.4 GHz antenna base, like this. So I'm going to cut this off. That will permit me to install the antenna right up against the upper surface of the body of the transmitter. Having carefully removed the remnant of the 2.4 GHz antenna base, you'll see that the SMA right angle adapter now will easily engage the long range antenna and carefully screw that on and if you're like most of us and you hold your transmitter parallel to the ground like this the antenna will now protrude upward for maximum range another alternative is this uh, medium range antenna that Dragon Link sells that actually has a right angle adapter built right on it so that in place of this right angle adapter and the long range antenna would work just fine as well replace your stock or aftermarket battery pack be sure to connect it up there and then replace the back. Then with all your switches in the neutral or zero position as the 9X requires, go ahead and power it up and notice that your Dragon Link green light is on and then go fly and have fun.